Cooperation is essential for successful human societies. However, cooperation is risky from an evolutionary perspective. For cooperation to be beneficial, cooperators need to interact with other cooperators. This is known as positive assortment. But how does positive assortment happen? Two explanations are partner choice and norm transmission. With partner choice, cooperators choose to live with other cooperators, excluding those who are selfish. With norm transmission, cooperative or selfish behavior spreads across a group. A team led by Professor Corinne Apicella and student Christopher Smith from the University of Pennsylvania tested these explanations in the Hadza, a nomadic hunter-gatherer population in Tanzania. The Hadza have fluid living arrangements. They live in camps of about 30 individuals, and these camps move every month or so. People also regularly move between camps, so the makeup of each camp is constantly changing. The team measured sharing behavior in the Hansa multiple times over a six-year period and recorded who individuals were living with. They found that the Hansa do positively assort. Levels of sharing were similar within each camp, but varied across the population. Interestingly, individuals changed their sharing behavior as they moved from camp to camp. Willingness to share in the past did not predict willingness to share in the future. Instead, Willingness to share was based upon the sharing norms within their camp. These results support the norm transmission model of cooperation. They also highlight how good behavior can spread from person to person, leading to a more cooperative and successful society.